And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolve Frozen Factory. Well, I was over here. Uh, this is where my gold was, and just kind of trying to figure out where I was going to put it. The the you know the huge smelting operation stuff like that, and I kind of was curious. I was like, you know, I wonder just how much um gold is left in that vein and is it worth going and trying to fit this in and then powering it and having this huge smelting setup here i wonder how much is left in that vein so i went down and looked and you know there was there was about nine hundred thousand left in that vein however um even with 900,000, that is a lot of work to go through. Um, you know, that's about, that's about 100,000 bars. Uh, a little over 100,000, actually. And, wow, that's a lot. And I don't know if I would need all 100,000 of those bars. Uh, I kind of would feel a little better if we had a, you know more of a I don't want to call it a buffer but just more like is there a vein nearby that would be worth doing a huge smelting operation and knowing that you know when my missiles are going when everything is going I'm not going to suddenly run out of gold because that would be very very bad so yeah here is the gold vein that I was working on and as you can see, 972,000. Um, and I am pulling it out as 100%. So I would get 972,000 out of that. Um, and, you know, roughly, uh, actually, it's divided by four. That's almost 250,000 bars. But the other element is space. The space is very cramped up there for all the stuff that needs gold because I want not only to uh, smelt the gold but I also want a, an area for turning it into wire and turning it into PCBs for uh, future use so I kind of went on a hunt and I kind of started looking around for other gold and this gold here is kind of crappy um, so I was just looking around let's see if I can find where I was so there's a little gold in there. There's a little bit of gold back there. But kind of over here a ways. Um, if I went kind of, I hope I didn't lose my spot. Um, so I was up in here. And let's see, over here. So yeah, this gold vein here I found and it's just within you know earshot of the other one and check this beauty out 22 million gold right here 22 million that is a crazy crazy amount of gold and as you can see with my hollow base um, I'm gonna go to you on this um, where I'm at kind of in the world there's my titanium that's my titanium right there kind of in the middle of my screen um, that's that massive titanium area that we have um, and so there is right there if you can see right in front of my cursor that is the gold that we're mining right now um, and so if we go to kind of a top-down view you can kind of see um, how far away we are that that big square right there that is spider bots base that's where his base is so we are in an area that we don't have really anything else um, and so I'm thinking right here uh, to put a another operation so like a Oh, and I am full of stuff. Um, I don't really have any space to speak of. Um, I needed to drop my bug parts off. 
So if we put, uh, you know, a cargo lift here, one here, and one over here, I would be able to lift just a ton of material up and we could even sneak power and plasma heads down a little corridor next to all of the cargo lifts kind of peek them out here and beam them over to an extractor that's sitting right here if i put an extractor right here i would be able to put um power and uh heads into it like power could go into the top like with a battery plasma heads could go in here and then i could have three uh three more extractors or uh hoppers to extract all that beautiful ore so first things first i need to figure out like where we are in relation to that other, ooh, there's some more ore. There's some more lithium. 15 million lithium. That is, look at the size of that bean. That's like a dragon head. Look at that. That's a dragon head. That's my dragon head lithium vein right there. That was cool. So yeah, um, this is really where we want to be. Uh, this is going to be the coal situation or not the coal the gold situation uh, kind of fly back over here and pop back up to where my gold is so if we mapped that out where that is up up on top I already have dug out a spot for it because um, yeah I was gonna gear up to to create some more here but I thought you know setting all that up for 900,000 versus 22 million a little bit more permanent at the 22 million mark and I would even be able to increase the number of smelters and increase the number of extractors a lot easier on a 22 million vein and not not worry about it the next thing i'm going to be worrying about is my titanium vein we are going through titanium pretty fast uh, let's just scan this really quick so yeah we're going through it pretty fast not too fast but pretty fast so i want to figure out if there's a way that we can dig down and I think DJ added a new tool because we don't really have any power or any way of getting power over to that gold right now uh, because it's kind of a weird route and we don't we're not actually bringing a whole lot of power down here I mean, we've got one green and one blue laser delivering power down to the miners and stuff, and that's just not enough. Not enough power by far. So if we look at the tools that I have not unlocked, we have a, let's see if I can spot it, a nano disintegrator. Uh... I want one of those and there was something else laser borer uh, uses high energy composite fuel to supercharge a mining laser to create a three by three vertical shafts extremely quickly feed uh, fuel via statutory topper build in a three by three by three shape so I'm really curious about how that works um, so where would those be located i'm assuming nano disintegrated oh no nano disintegrated. okay unknown material not sure what that uses then uh laser bore yeah advanced an unknown material i have no idea what that is i could look it up really quick and see what it is um the nano disintegrator would be nice and I'm not sure where that would be 
It's not under mining. Maybe it's under... Maybe it's under this one. Because I know the nano disintegrator would work. We would just need, like, I don't know, a hundred of them? Yeah, where is the nano disintegrator? If anybody sees it, tell me how much of a derp I am. So I'm not seeing it at all. So maybe weapon? Okay, well, I'm tired of looking. N A N. Nano disintegrator. Mark II power booster and lightweight machine housing. Single use machine capable of destroying anything it's placed on. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to uh, how this thing looks and feels. So I need a cup. Oh, inventory is full. Forgot about that. Um, so I'm going to put my cursor there. Go to my bug parts. And actually, I need to grab. There's 30 coal in there. Okay, and that one's full. So let's put them into there. There, now I can pull a couple of those. I need a... couple of lightweight machine housings Definitely. and where do you think that nano disintegrator was which category no oh, there it is now I don't know what this category is called consumables oh Definitely. so there's one okay Two. And I'm just going to make one more. Because I want to try these out. Obviously, we don't, we don't know the material yet that we need. And I think the way that I designed it, I'm going to have to go out three more this way. I think this was that edge. Okay, nano disintegration time. Uh, where would those be? Nano disintegrator. Done. And it turns it into rubble. But the bonus of that is you can put it on ores. So if we're going down here and we're, we come across some ores, I could actually put that on the ore and it would just obliterate it. Well, technically it would disintegrate it, but I don't know if we have any ores down here. I might have to dig like a pilot, a pilot hole all the way down. So, like, watch, if we do this, and I'm just going to dig straight down. Oh, now we've come across ore. See, there's a copper vein. It's probably a sizable one. Yeah, 2.5 million. Whoa! Okay, so if we put a nano disintegrator on there, and don't kill me, please. Okay. And it is consumed, obviously, but it also destroyed the copper that was in there. You can see, copper is gone. It's a 3x3x3 three by three by three system. And we can put one more here. Done. So it's kind of a quick way of clearing ores out. Um, that doesn't require, you know, too much effort. So there's, I just disintegrated that, that ore that was in there and I could, you know, bring a whole bunch more and really go crazy with it. Cause we need to go down several hundred feet or several hundred meters. So I'm not gonna actually do that on camera. That would be ridiculous. Um, 
Oh, what? So that was the nano disintegrator. And that's pretty awesome. Um, especially, you know, depending on how early in the game it unlocks, it will really help clear the mine shafts um, pretty easily. But I'm really curious as to what that other that other item was. The boar. What is that unknown material? I mean, I have researched quite a few things. Maybe it's a hardened machine block? Nope. Um, it can't be any of the lasers. Uh, can't really be much of anything. Should I, should I look really quick? See how fast I can, uh, find it. Okay, I gotta load up the XML file. And manufacturer recipes. Do a search for, what's a good search word for that? Um, laser bore, okay, bore, -er. laser bore, oh, it's a BFL 9000. Okay, well, I can handle that, and there it is, laser bore. I would have never guessed it was a BFL. So, how does this thing work? Oh, oh, that's right. We need uh, 27 of these. That is pricey. But um, what else? So, we need... I have plenty of advanced machine blocks. So, I need 26 more BFLs. And I'm out of lithium. Good lord. 26 BFLs. That's a, that's a lot of BFLs. Okay. That should be enough. Lithium. For what we need it for. So that's 24. 25. 26. There we go. So it needs to be built in a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. So let's just build it over this one instead. Oh, baby. Oh. That. That is... Oh, it needs a lot of power. Oh, it needs a lot of power. Why did I think? Well, actually, if it needs hoppers for a high energy composite fuel, I happen to have, happen to know a guy that can get me some of that. Uh, I'm not really in range of that long distance grab for composite fuel because this stuff I can make a lot of I mean I can make thousands of this composite fuel so let's uh, put it here and see what happens unable to locate storage hopper oh it needs has a little ghost image of a storage hopper on top Awesome, look at that. That is cool. So, high energy composite fuel. Let's load you up. And it's charging. Oh, there we go. Oh snap, it just used all that composite fuel. 29 of them. Just sucked them dry. So what, uh, how many more is this gonna take, do you think? I don't think I have too many more. I have 10 in there. I'm gonna need some more. Uh, 
I don't know which direction these are going, but uh, is this uh, out or in? Okay, it looks like bars into tubes, fuel canisters, okay. So there's 10 more of this stuff. I kind of want to get closer so I see if it actually fires. Oh yeah, it uh, it looks like it's five thousand per. Oh, that is that is just wicked looking. Look at that thing. I'm sorry, but it's going to be a couple minutes, and I'd hate to I hate to end on a. Uh, cliffhanger but we're gonna have to pick it up next episode so i uh, thank you for watching and i will see you next time